Do you know how can you create your own cryptocurrency? If not, then by the end of this video, you will be having your own token or cryptocurrency on the Polygon network. And trust me, it's going to be really simple. Even if you are new to this Web3 space, you would be able to follow me along. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also join me on my Twitter and my Discord channel in case you have any doubts. So without any further delay, let's get started. Before actually starting to write the smart contract, we first need to do three steps prior to that. The very first thing is installing MetaMask, second adding the configuration of Polygon test network to MetaMask and the third thing is getting some free Matic tokens from the faucet. So I've already made a video explaining all these three steps in detail. So the link of that video is given in the description box and also on the top. You can follow it and then come back to this video in order to proceed with the next step. Now, assuming that you have done all these three steps, let's head on to Remix where we'll be writing the smart contract. So we are on Remix. Remix is basically a Solidity IDE wherein we can write, compile and debug our Solidity code. And for getting this, you need not create any account or download anything. You just need to go to remix.ethereum.org and you'll be taken to this page wherein we'll directly start writing our smart contract. Now, before actually writing the smart contract, there is one thing that I wanted to show you. So for creating any of the fungible token on the Ethereum blockchain, we generally follow ERC20 token standard, which you can think of as a certain set of rules that one needs to follow in order to create any of the fungible tokens, say this cryptocurrency that we are trying to make here. So those functions include functions like total supply, balance of transfer, allowance, and some more. Now, the best part is you need not write or define any of these functions in your smart contract directly. For doing that, we'll be using this smart contract ERC20 present on Open Zeppelin. We'll be importing this into our smart contract and then we can simply use all these defined functions from here. So that's why I was saying you initially that it's going to be pretty easy. So let's move to our remix and under the contracts folder, I'll create a new file. Let's call it token and as you know for creating any smart contract we first need to define two major things one is the license line we need to write and the other is the pragma solidity line so i do have a pre-written smart contract i will simply copy these two lines from there now let's import this erc20 smart contract for doing that we simply copy this link and paste it here end it with a semicolon now let's move on to writing our smart contract so i will write contract and name it token since we want to inherit all the variables and functions from this erc20 smart contract so i will write erc20 so as you can see here in the erc20 smart contract we do have a constructor so since we are importing this we also need to define everything that is present here into our smart contract as well so i will create a constructor i'll take erc20 now there are two things that we need to specify one is the name and the other is the symbol so let's name it unblocking chain token and the symbol i will give it the short form uct as you all know that that constructor is called only once when you initialize or when you deploy the smart contract there are some things that we want to be present or to invoked when we first deploy the smart contract since we are creating a token we want that initially there should be some supply of that token present and those tokens should be given to the person who has invoked or initialized the smart contract so for doing that we'll be simply using one of the function present in here that's called mint which takes in two parameters one is the account and the other is amount so here it is written that it creates amount number of tokens and assign them to the account so we can simply write it since i want myself or the first person who is invocating this to get all those tokens i will simply write this and the number of tokens that i want is say 100 and i also need to specify the decimal so decimal is uh, nothing but the number of divisions that you want of your currency now as you would have seen this mint function we'll be calling but later in case we want to increase the supply of our token we also want to create an additional 
function in here which only the owner can call and generate more tokens of the same type so for doing that we first need to define who is the owner of the smart contract so i will initialize a variable of type address i will make it public let's call it owner so while initializing i will specify who is going to be the owner owner is going to be the first person and that's what i defined here so now let's create another function say mint and which again will take in two parameter one is the address and other is the amount and let's make it external so that we are able to call it from outside now since we only want the owner to call this function so i will have to write another require statement which says that if the message dot sender is the owner then only you should be able to execute this function and in case you are not it should uh, tell you that you are not the owner and again we will simply use this mint function which will send these uh, number of tokens to the two address that you have specified okay so we are done making our smart contract and it's pretty simple right now it's time to deploy this smart contract onto polygon test network so i'm assuming that you would have taken all the three steps that i had asked you to do initially also ensure that here in your metamask in the networks you would have selected polygon testnet so here you should have polygon testnet we'll head on to deploying the smart contract so for deploying it i will select injected web3 and here it will show me my account wherein we have one ether say one matic in here and i will simply need to click on deploy also ensure that in the contract your token is selected not erc20 or any other so after clicking on deploy it will take some time take your permission on metamask first for that you are ready to pay this much amount of gas fee so this is the gas fee that will be taken you have to click on confirm and here uh, you can see that it's showing that creation of token pending and once it is deployed we can see it on ether scan as well okay it is created now here also you can see we have various uh, functions present so these are the getter functions that we have for example symbol owner name we if we click on symbol we expect that we should get uct so if we click on symbol we get uct so what we are going to do is we are going to polygon mumbai polygon scan and here we will be able to see our smart contract you can simply copy the smart contract address from this deployed smart contract so here is the smart contract address to which it is deployed to i can simply copy it and paste it here now the best part is you can also get this token into your metamask account for doing that let's open this one and the contract address that is there i will simply copy it go to my metamask and in the assets i will click on import tokens i will paste this address and automatically you can see the token symbol is populated token decimal is populated and i will add this custom token okay as you can see the balance is 100 so i have imported it and now in my assets i do have matic and i do have uct right the token that we have created on the polygon test network now we can also try doing some of the things i can transfer the uh, say one of the token from here to my another account say itisha so if i click on itisha i don't have any assets in here so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to unblocking chain click on this and send some uct to my another account to, so i'll click on transfer between accounts and i'll send uh say 10 uct tokens to tisha so i'll click on next it'll take some gas fee so i'll click on confirm and now uh, it has sent 10 uct tokens to itisha's account should be able to see 10 uct because it's what we have got from another account of us now you can do one more thing in here we can mint some more tokens so we only have now 100 tokens in existence if we want to mint more tokens you can specify the address to which you want to mint them so i will mint it to my unblocking chain address copy this address paste it here and then we need to specify the amount multiplied by 10 to the power 18 so say i want to increase my supply to 20 more tokens so 20 into 10 to the power 18 
I'll click on transact. Now, if I go back to my MetaMask account, I should be able to see 110 UCT tokens because 10 I had already given to my another account called Itisha. So here, as you can see here, we have 110 UCT tokens. So you can play around with, uh, with these functions a bit. You can try and test some other functions as well. So we are finally done creating our own cryptocurrency. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed creating your own cryptocurrency. And I know that I have skipped explaining all the functions that are present in ERC20 token standard. So if you want me to make a separate video on that, then do let me know in the comment section down below. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.